Hello everyone, welcome to Heart Centered Tarot. As always, my name is Marina and I will be your guide for this portion of the journey. So, I just finished doing a show with Val called Messages for Lightworkers. And one of the messages that I received was for me to go back into, um, into my channeled messages and that there was something there for me that needed to be re-recorded and re-broadcast. So this is what this is. It is a message from the Council of 13, one of the councils that I belong to. And this was originally downloaded to me in April of this year. And when I reread the message, um, before the Lightworker show today, it just struck me that this, this is a message that needed to be repeated. So this is what you are getting, is a re-recording <laughs> of the message that originally came in um, in April. Now, I will tell you that it does, um, it does mention an eclipse, which happened in April. Don't let that throw you off. Um, the rest of the message is profound and really, really resonates for the moment that we are in right now. So, without further ado, I'm going to bring up the message and I'm going to read it to you the way that it was delivered to me. And I'm sending lots of light, love, protection, compassion, and unity to each and every one of you. Okay. Welcome. We are the Council of 13, and we join you through Marina, or as we know her, Alara. As part of a larger galactic federation, we come to you today to reinforce a message we delivered in mid-February. As we said then, you can't hear when you're in fear, and you can't hear us if you fear us. Tumultuous energies are gathering around your little planet, and we want to assure you that you are safe, you are protected, and you are loved. With the approaching solar eclipse, we want to remind you that while the sun may appear to no longer be in the sky, it is still there. And with patience, it will reemerge once again. Your situation on Earth is very similar at the moment. What has taken years to construct in the shadows will be brought forward in the light of day. What has been hidden and what has been done in the shadows will be exposed. While your solar eclipse may last mere minutes or perhaps hours, the turmoil you are witnessing is much the same, only the timeline is different. What is taking many of your earth months or years is but a fraction of galactic measurement. Stay the course, our beloveds, and know that there is a purpose to all the key players involved. They have taken on a monumental soul contract and have understood their function for the betterment of civilization's progress. Your mastery of love, compassion, tolerance, inclusion, and forgiveness appear to be severely compromised. Stay the course. Your work towards a better planet is paramount, and we continue to ask you to live in the faith of your forebearers. Be the shining light for those that currently see no light around them. Be the loving embrace for those who feel ignored and unloved. Be the strength for those who can no longer muster the courage to carry on. Be the welcoming host for those that feel excluded and homeless. Be the voice for those who face fears 
that they cannot understand. The energies are shifting around you and we want to remind you that your light work is working. Collectively, you are silently encouraging each other to persevere and we will not let you down. We are with you as you gather to promote a more loving, inclusive, fair, non-judgmental world. Just as a seedling doesn't emerge into a full version of itself quickly, it does make strides every single moment that it is tended to. We are asking you to tend to each other, even to those that might appear to be lost. They more than some, are slowly awakening to their potential and they are taking very small steps towards their own divine fulfillment. For those of you that are vibrating on a much higher level, know that the flocks you are tending with your love, compassion, inclusion, and understanding are feeling it. They are but infants learning to crawl before they can walk. Their spines are getting stronger, and they will ultimately be able to support the vessel that they currently occupy. Their education and emergence is kind, fair, loving, just, happy. And fulfilled humans rely, now more than ever, on a gentle voice lovingly guiding them toward their divine souls. And when necessary, allowing them to stumble and fall. All is for their ultimate growth and understanding. Just as it takes many earth years to raise a child from infancy to adulthood, be patient with those whose journeys have just become, just begun even. Do not allow yourself to live in fear. View every situation as an opportunity to be the beacon of light for others. We are joyful and hopeful in your progress and we support your vibrational shift. You will be in awe of your abilities once you rejoin your galactic families and we eagerly await your homecoming. Be well, beloved, and know that we are always with you, always. Well, I don't know about you, but that mes message certainly resonates today as it did back then. So I will leave you with that. I will leave you in that space of faith. I will leave you in that space of being the beacon of light that you are, not only for those that agree with you, but for those that you have disagreement with. Hold that space. Hold that light. Hold that love. Put it out to the universe that this is a moment of healing, a moment of compassion, a moment of light, love, fulfillment of each one of ours purpose. We may not understand why we are here at this moment. We are being asked to move forward in faith. And I, for one, am content with that for the moment. So much love to each and every one of you. And I will see you through the days and the weeks and know that your energy is helping keep me positive. And I hope that my energy is helping keep you positive and moving forward. Thank you and much love to each and every one.